Today's math strategy video is on solving multi-step word problems. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a number line to help us solve this multi-step problem. So our example problem says, Miss Dennison is packing up the books in her classroom for the summer. Each box holds nine books. She has 24 math books and 27 science books to pack. How many boxes will she need? Now this doesn't tell, like it doesn't give a differentiation between like, do we want all the science books packed together or all the math books? It doesn't say that. So I'm just gonna assume that we want all of the math and all, or sorry, all of the science and then all of the math packed together. So when I do 27 plus 24, now I could easily just say 20, plus 20 um, equals 40, and then four plus seven is 11. So that's 51 books that need to be packed. Okay, so, and it says each box holds nine books. So this equation right here, I am going to say, um, let's give B is going to equal books. So 27 plus 24 equals B, and we know that B equals 51, okay? So this is just some information we're gonna keep over here kind of to the side. So this is going to actually represent all of our books here um, that we're going to be packing up, this little number line right here. Now, um, it says that each one, I can change the colors here. It says each box, one box can have nine books. So if these are all of the books, I'm gonna skip count because this is, I'm gonna have this top represent the boxes. So if I go from zero to nine, that is one box. Okay, and then I'm gonna skip count by nine again. So that's one, two, three. It's three little sections, three little tick marks here. That's two boxes. Another would be three boxes. And then another. So now I'm at 36 books, but remember I've gotta to get to 51 here. So this would be four boxes. Then one, two, another three, this would be five boxes. Now, as you can see, I only have three, six books left over. Now, I have to have them packed. Even though another box could fit nine, I'm just going to only put six in it because I've got to have one more plus one more box in order to fill all of them up. So, if I want t to equal, maybe I want t to equal the total boxes. I'm going to take b, which is r, actually let me do it in blue because b, which equaled our 51, and I am going to divide that by nine, and that is going to give me t, total boxes. So we have two equations here. Here was the first one. 27 plus 24 equals B, and B is gonna stand for our books. We're gonna take our books and we're gonna divide it by nine to find the total number of boxes. So this ends up being, whoa, 51 divided by nine, which ends up being five with remainder six. But I need to round this up to equal six, six total boxes, because I don't want to leave these, these six out here. Okay, let's look at another example. So for this one, we're going to use a bar model. And this one says, uh, this example problem says, Brian and his friends are doing a 200 piece jigsaw puzzle. Each of the six friends has placed 12 puzzle pieces. How many pieces have not been placed? Now, once again, this whole this is going to represent the whole, and the whole is 200 pieces. So this first part right here is 6 times 12, which I've got 72 here. 72. So 72 is how many pieces have been placed. I also need to find out how many have not been placed. So if I did 6 
times 12. This is going to be P for placed. P equals placed pieces. Okay, and P equals 72. Now, that's my first equation. 6 times 12 equals P, and P equals placed pieces, which is 72. My next one, let's do it in green. This one is going to be what's left. Okay, so let's see. Okay, well, let's do U. Let's do U for unplaced. Unplaced pieces. So if I have 200 and I take away what's been placed, I will find unplaced. So here's my next equation. So now I'm just going to um, substitute in P equals 72. So minus 72 because I already found P. Now I'm going to subtract. Oh, gosh. I do not like subtracting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of count up. Okay, I have 72 and I need to get to 200 here. Okay, so if I know if I go from 72 and if I add just 8, I'll get to 80. Okay, and then 80 to, let's say, 100 is plus 20. And then 100 to 200 is another 100. So I've got plus 8, plus 20, plus 100. So I know that this will be 128. And I didn't even have to subtract here. So how many pieces have not been placed? Unplaced pieces equals 128. All right, that is the end of today's math strategy video.